love the flavor of butternut squash and pears. I have the perfect recipe for you today. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics Channel, where we celebrate health and wellness through creating delicious recipes together in the kitchen. Today we're going to be making a ginger butternut squash and pear soup. Let's begin by preparing our butternut squash. Using a sharp knife, slice off both ends. Then cut the squash in half, separating the neck from the bulb. Using either a knife or a vegetable peeler, remove the outer peel from the squash. Now we are ready to slice the squash lengthwise and remove the seeds and stringy insides from the bulb end. Slice the squash into about one inch sized cubes. So squash can be pretty tough when it's not cooked. So take your time as you go. Add your cube squash to a large mixing bowl and drizzle with one to two tablespoons of either olive or avocado oil, along with one quarter of a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt, and one eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Toss to coat evenly. Spread your coated squash out in a single layer onto a baking sheet and cook in a 375 degree preheated oven for 20 minutes. While your squash is cooking, let's prepare the pears. Peel three pears, quarter them, and then remove the inner core. Place the pears into your mixing bowl and drizzle with one tablespoon of either olive or avocado oil. And toss everything together to coat the pears evenly. After 20 minutes of cooking the squash, Add your coated pears to the baking sheet and place back in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until a fork can easily be inserted into both the pears and the squash. Now we are ready to assemble our soup. To a large pot, add in one tablespoon of either olive or avocado oil and heat over medium heat until hot. Add in one chopped up medium sized onion and one quarter of a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt. Saute your onion until it becomes translucent, about three to five minutes. Add in two tablespoons of grated and peeled ginger root and stir and heat up your ginger for just about 10 seconds so as not to burn. And then add in your squash and pears along with four cups of either vegetable or chicken broth. Stir and bring to a boil. Reduce the heat and then simmer for about 10 minutes. So if you prefer a thicker soup, just continue to cook and reduce the broth down. For a thinner consistency, add in some filtered water. Blend up your soup using either an emulsion blender like I'm using or just use your regular blender. I highly recommend letting your soup cool just a bit before you do this. Now last but not least, I'm going to stir in one third of a cup of coconut cream. It is time to give this soup a taste. That is such a wonderful blend of flavors. The squash and the, just a little bit of sweetness from the pears and just a little bit of spicy from the ginger. You cannot go wrong with this one. I hope you give this one a try. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, take great care of yourself this week, and I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.